Okay, so we are back. So now we will be videoing all. So, uh, all, so not all. So because we're aiming a uh, thousand plus uh, YouTube videos, <coughs> we already did this. I think. Okay. So now we'll be doing this from the start. Okay. So just uh, help and navigation tips from the power chaser. need to log in see the video help and navigation tips okay. <coughs> Navigation tips. <coughs> so there. So this is very nice topology. So we have the internet here. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's see. So path tracer help navigation tips. Objectives is the overview of the path tracer program. So the background is so this is the path tracer fun take home flexible program that will help you uh, CNA studies. So it allows you to experiment with network behavior, build network models like this one, and ask a what if questions. So in this activity, you will explore a relatively complex network that highlights a few path tracer features. So while doing so, you will learn how to access help and tutorials. You will also learn how to switch between various modes and workspaces. You may need to adjust the window size of patches of the signal. That's necessary, so you can use the zoom in. Okay, you have to zoom in and out to adjust the size of the window. So you can use this. What is this one? Zoom reset. Okay. okay, so step one is access the path tracer help pages, tutorial videos, and online resources. So access the path tracer help pages in two ways. So we have the first one is we can just click the question mark here on the top right okay. and we will be redirected to a page so it's an HTML page okay. so you can see we have the accounts okay. getting started the interface okay. some help uh, features of Patracer okay. so work, workspace basics so we have the logical the physical okay. <coughs> Devices and modules, you can also see the routers. Okay. So, okay, so that is the first uh, way, <coughs> but you can also click the help button here and the contents. Okay. We're also redirected to this page. Okay, access the patch user tutorial videos by clicking help and tutorials. So these videos are a visual demonstration of the information found in the help pages and various aspects of the patch user software program. Okay. Okay, the tutorial videos. So help then tutorials. <coughs> so you can see a lot of tutorials here. So interface, for example, interface overview. So it will load a video just play it okay. Okay, next between tutorial the... interface overview okay. welcome to the Cisco okay. there's a lot of uh, videos here so for your configuring device the logical workspace okay. so I think we will need to uh, view this so when you are creating a uh, network Clustering a network topology. Okay. There's a lot of uh, videos here that we can 
<clears throat> Toggle between real time and simulation modes. Okay. So this tab here is the real time. Huh? Okay, in real time mode, your network is always running like a real network. Whether or not you are working on the network, your conversion are performed in real time, network response in near real time. Okay, we also have the simulation mode. Huh? So just beside the real time. So in simulation mode, you can watch your network run on slower pace, observing the paths that data takes, and inspecting the data packets in detail. Okay. We can expect the uh, contents of data. Okay, let's see. <coughs> so in simulation mode, we can click the play. So as you can see, we have a PDF here. You can <coughs> examine so the PD of the outliers. The STP process sends out confusion. View the device encapsulation. Oh, okay. We also have this, the steps. Okay. <coughs> and the in layers. Switch receive the frame. Oh, okay. Next layer. Okay. There's a lot. You can also view the inbound and outbound video details uh, the internet okay. <coughs> so toggle between logical and physical views so we'll you find the logical in the top left corner of the path user interface so you can see here so we are currently in the logical workspace where you will spend majority of your time building configuration configuring and investigating and troubleshooting networks okay. <coughs> so you can add a geographical map as a background image to the logical workspace but does not usually have any relationship to the actual physical location of the devices so click the tab beside the logical to switch to physical workspace the purpose of physical workspace is to give us physi physical dimension to your logical network topology gives you a sense of scale and placement how your network might look in a real environment Okay. Okay, during this any studies, you will use this workspace on occasion. Probably we'll be using this physical here. Real time. So it's too amazing. Okay. <coughs> so intercity, I think. Navigation panel, what is this? Okay. We will be doing this. The back level, create new city, new building. The city here. Wow. Just wow. Yes. <coughs> you can click this, your city, and then okay. we will need this. Probably. probably we will need to learn this okay so just on the end of the activity so there's a challenge so you can add and device to the pole and connect it to one of the lands with which connection what else does this device need to send data to is there a way to verify that you correctly connected the device so you, you can use the pin okay. <coughs> let's see have the virus see the laptop advertise it there's a wireless lab controller let's see <coughs> PC wireless uh okay we need uh module Okay. Stop. PC wireless. Fresh. Branch net. Already connected. Let's see if we can ping the guest. 
what? We don't have. Let's see if we can make this basically. Okay. One seven two sixteen oh three. This is over. Camping that intermediary device, intermediary device like router. Let's see, I think this is too advanced. Okay. Adding a router, then you set up batteries or so this is just challenge so we can uh, do this through the course okay. and that's it